Alrighty, so today's dish is gonna be a cheesy garlic mash. Ingredients needed are gonna be some potatoes, uh, some butter, garlic, uh, I am using the already minced garlic, some salt, black pepper. You can use whole milk, half and half, cream. I'm using whole milk today and some cheese. This is an Italian six blend. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, so right now I have a pot of water heating up on the stove to boil. I'm gonna start peeling my potatoes. Um, I don't care, I don't want any skin in this potato today, so I'm gonna start peeling my potatoes and I'm gonna be cutting them into halves really. I don't want them to be too big. So half, well that's more of a third. So about this size so they don't get too mushy. I'm gonna do that with the rest and then get back to you guys. Okay, so I have cut and cubed my potatoes. I ended up using a whole bag because I was left with like five small potatoes. So I just used the whole thing. My pot of water is boiling on the stove. So we're just gonna move over to that side. I'm just gonna salt this. Um, this is going to help me so I don't have to add a whole bunch of salt at the end when the potatoes are mashed. It's a lot harder to mix. So I'm going to salt this now. And I'll be using a very generous amount of salt. Okay. And I'm gonna wait for this to come back up to a boil and then I'm gonna throw those potatoes in. So my, pot my water is back boiling. I'm gonna throw these potatoes in. And I'm gonna cook them until they're fork ready. You don't want them to... Wow, I just splashed myself. You don't want them to get too soft. You want them to just be fork tender so you'll be able to mash them. So I'm gonna do the transferring process off camera since I am burning myself. But pretty much just throw your potatoes in, keep an eye on them, and when they are fork ready, you're gonna strain them from the water. All right, so our potatoes are done. As you can see, they're steaming. Our potatoes are done. I started off with the, the fork, but it was taking too long, so this is old school. If you don't got a potato masher, just use the bottom of a cup. Twist, twist, and you see, those potatoes are just not giving no resistance, except that one. So we're gonna keep going. I only have a few left, and yeah. So I'm done mashing my potatoes. Gonna get myself a bowl. So I'm gonna go in with about, since it's a lot of potatoes, probably about three tablespoons of butter, okay? I am going to melt this down in the microwave. It took about a minute. I am going to use another spoon now to dip out some of that garlic that I had. And I'm gonna add the garlic right into the butter. Hopefully the steam starts to release some of those flavors. I'm gonna just mix that in. I'm now going to add my milk into the butter and garlic mixture and mix that in. Mix it in, let's get nice and mixed together. And then I will be pouring this mixture into my mashed potatoes. Okay. I'm not gonna use all because I don't know how creamy this is gonna make it. So I'm just gonna start stirring getting that all in. And it looks like I actually might need some more. So this is definitely not as creamy as I want it. So I'm gonna pour that in. I think I really have enough butter, so I think my only next step that I would need to add is milk here. And what I'm doing as I'm stirring is I'm trying to cover the potatoes, but I'm also making sure that I'm still mashing at the same time. Now if you have a spoon or a potato mash or anything that you wanna use, feel free to use that. This is just what I had at my brother's house. So I'm gonna add more milk in. And pretty much, you're gonna keep doing the same thing until it gets to the consistency that you want. So at this point, I'm gonna taste it for salt. And stir. All right, so this is the consistency that I wanted. My knife, I mean, sorry, my fork is just going through this. This is perfect. So I'm going to take my cheese blend here and I'm gonna start sprinkling it in. I got my cheese in here. It's tasting amazing. I'm gonna add a couple of sprinkles of some black pepper just to give it a little kick. All around. And 
mix that in. To add a little nice touch, you can add some parsley in there to give it a nice little garnish. Okay, and there you have it. Chili, garlic, mashed potatoes. Get into it. 